but we also have issues around things like hate speech. And one of the differences between hate speech and elections is that the people who go out, who, who say hateful things aren't necessarily getting smarter at saying hateful things. So as the AI systems get better, we generally are just catching more and more of the hate speech um, and they were able to take it down. And it's, it's not like, um, like that, like hate speech is getting more sophisticated. So there, it's, I, I think that as the systems get better, we will get closer and closer to having a lower prevalence of that on the systems. <laughs>
I, I think the newspaper analogy is clearly wrong because there are more than 100 billion pieces of content that people share on our services every day. So the idea that we should have some kind of human editor um, that goes and checks each one to make sure that it is okay um, is just not analogous to what happens in a newspaper or other media company. But you know, to say that we should not have any harmful content on the service, you wouldn't be able to do that and give everyone a voice around the world, which I think would just be losing a huge value. So I think that a third regulatory system needs to be made, which is not the no anything liability for, for telcos, but is also not the um, saying that, assuming that there should be, that there's some number of people who can like oversee this um, in, in our headquarters, because um, like an editor at a newspaper, I just think that's not reasonable. Let's make this very abundantly clear, just like I did the day when I started streaming on Twitch in 2013. This stream is the United States of Phil. This is my stream, not yours, not the viewers, it's mine. And therefore, you know, anything that happens on it, uh, within reason, you know, is gonna be held against me, not against you, against me. So if I see nasty stuff and stupid stuff that has nothing to do with anything going on in the chat, I am going to lay down the law. It's that simple.